Dr. Lana, the biggest concern I have is, okay, we're going to try to work on this. We all want to stay together, but they're checked out. And that happened to me with the father of my children. He left, literally left two or three times. I'd get home and he'd be packed up and gone. So finally, I cu then I, like, it's gone. It's like, when is he going to leave again? So finally I said, leave. And, that, and I'm the one that asked for the divorce because I couldn't trust him anymore. So what do you do when they really just leave you well, and they're off doing whatever they're doing? Well, that's not so much a problem of an affair. I mean, an affair may or may not be in that. They're just gone. Mm -hmm. You know, they've checked out. They don't want to be in this relationship anymore because there's a lot of skill involved in marriage. And marriage is different at different ages. And Correct. children really come between couples. I mean, people think, isn't this romantic? We're going to have these little kids together and we'll be so <laughs> close. And that doesn't happen the way we parent in America. The kids tend to come first. So true. He right. tends to go to the back of the line. It's right? so true. It's true. And this is actually when a lot of men have affairs as well, and they, women hate this, it's while women are pregnant and have little children because men, men feel shut out, alone, and, that, and they're lost. Or do, so they feel, or do they feel it when it's empty nest also? Also. You get Kids are gone to college and now it's just the two of you and you really don't know how well, to connect Well, you're not connected. You're, it's well, long not connected. And some people are connected, but only about the kids. Right. So there are these various decades, you know, I think whether it's... 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, mm -hmm. the relationship needs to be updated mm -hmm. because 10 years is really a long time. And what we want at 30 is probably going to be more co-parenting and mm -hmm. more right. establishing our home. What we want at 50, been there, done that. Right. I want somebody to go have a good time with. I want... It's true. I want That's what I fun. want. Don't you want that? <laughs> no, really. Isn't that true? Isn't Absolutely. That, we're at that age now. The kids are growing. They're yeah. gone. We have and a little what more is, money. We have a little we more say? time. Yeah. Now we want to have some fun. Well, isn't that what we've said? And then we say, but, and we're too connected. How, how connected are we? our children be, take over? Absolutely. Even now. Absolutely. Even now. Rochelle will run to California, I mean, and, and say to Harry, you have to stay here. Mm -hmm. You know, it doesn't, you're absolutely right, and I don't know how you stop that. I don't want to stop it, though. Yeah, I but mean, see, that's, that's part of our dynamic so what do you do? Family. What do you do? Well, I, you want to be thoughtful about it. Well, and we are. I, I invite him down to come for the weekend. <laughs> No. Well, I mean, it's one of the Not me. <laughs> the more you're separated from somebody, the more you're apart, the greater the risk. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's okay. a simple You're right. Equation. That's true. I mean, right. whether he's working late at night or you're working late at night or he's traveling or, or you're moving. How many times have I heard the story that, well, he's, gonna, he's only going to be gone a year or so and I'm going to stay here and hold yes. down the fort with the kids. Yes. Oh, come on. Yes. It's not a good, not a good thing. It becomes her problem, and he's just going to go off. Now, mm. does that sound like a setup or what? Right. So you know, and that happens a lot in this economy. Sure. Where somebody has a sure. job somewhere else. Right. But you've got to protect the relationship first. You've got to stay connected. That you can't allow those kinds of separations. There's, there's just too much vulnerability. Right, and I keep hearing you say staying connected, it's but really going back connected. to now we're, we've now yes. we're not connected. He seems to be gone. So how long do I put up with that? Well, I think one thing is you, if you if you get him to go to counseling, you know you can probably find out how he really feels. Sometimes people don't want to be gone; they just want it to be different. Mm -hmm. Other okay. times they are just done with you. Right. Right. And there's no bringing them and back. And you don't come back from that. You don't. You know, when they've been disconnected for a couple of years, oh. and they and men will build a case in their head. Mm. <laughs> there you go. I, I needed this because yes. she wasn't there for me. <laughs> yeah. Right. And she wouldn't do this, and we haven't had sex in this long, and all she, ta all she does is spend my money, and blah, 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 blah. Mm. Uh, that wall is... Ooh, that's a big wall. That's a big wall. But and we should not tend that. to go back... And Correct. we should point that out, Dr. Lana, yeah. because really, some women will turn themselves inside out. And what you're saying is, sometimes it's just not going to come back. And listen to what men say. Okay. Because one of the things, if I listen to it literally, what my men tell me, I know what they're going to do. You, you really do. do. Oh, yeah, because they'll say, well, I'm not sure. I really don't know. I don't know is no. I don't know is no. I don't know. Yes, yes. All the rest uh, of it's no.
that's where you really need to pull back, take care of yourself, get yourself in to a good position, and take a good, clear look in this, at this. Is he, is he contributing to creating a new relationship? Mm -hmm. Is he willing to learn how to be married? Because we know that there are different skill sets at different times in your marriage. You know, respect in marriage is probably the biggest deal breaker. How do you so true. And how do you, I did a, a seminar thing a, um, a few months ago, and so I asked people how they showed and received respect. Well, that was an eye-opener wow. for me because there were like 40 ways that people received or showed respect. Other things that people were offended by, like returning my call immediately, greeting me at the door and smiling, asking me about my day, touching me, That's respect. being willing to do a chore for me. Those were all signs of respect. Is that a question you should be asking each yeah, other? Yeah, how do you, you know, when, what do I do or say right. uh, that makes you feel respected? We had friends here this last weekend, and my husband was telling them how wonderful I was. And I was thinking, oh, this is pretty nice. Oh, but it I is like nice. It, it, is, it nice. is nice to feel like your husband's proud of you. Absolutely. And Very. His, absolutely. his stock went up. Right. His absolutely. stock would really go yeah. up. Yeah. Absolutely. And so, you know, and... You, you do things like that, or you smile when the person comes in the room. My right? mother-in-law used to say, if you want a happy marriage, you greet them at the door with a clean apron and a smile on your face. Let's forget the apron now, well, okay? But the know. smile, I think. I she didn't do. say what else was under the apron. <laughs> That's right. She just, just said the but clean I, apron. You know, really stopping. We know that. Absolutely. We know it's, when but they you walk gotta in the hear it again. You do. You have to. But we know. So lazy. We don't always know how to do it. Well, we, I have or we take we take for we granted. Take for granted. <laughs> we think Absolutely. we're married. Everything's fine. They're That's off right. cheating, and you don't even know it. And then they've already disconnected. Years and have gone. By. Do They're you know gone. why women cheat? Why? Mm -hmm. I think I know, but tell me. Attention, appreci appreciation, mm -hmm. and freer sex. Yes, yes. that makes sense. Women, oh, will, yes. Yes. women will do more sexual behavior outside of marriage than inside why? the marriage. Why is that? Because it's like, if he doesn't like it, who cares? Oh. oh. Or if <laughs> Oh, that and Rochelle are getting aha moments here. <laughs> That's very interesting, and yet it makes kind of makes sense yeah. because you're not you're not you may not see this person yeah, that many I mean, more times, and yeah. and if he thinks right. you're a wild thing, okay. Yes. Yeah. Well, your husband, there's a different line. <laughs> you're a little like, right. wow, you're kinky. Yeah. Right. It's not. No. And not some men don't different. like that. No. Yeah. No. Mother no. of my no. children, and she's out there flying yeah. around. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's on the pole. Uh -huh. She's doing the pole. It's not, not a good thing. That's a very interesting Because then you say, you can say to a man, your wife cheated because she wasn't getting the attention. For me, you know what it's always been? Conversation. Talking to me. Give, <laughs> so it is attention. Yeah. Acknowledging, having, because I'm a, I'm a talker. I love to talk about philosophies <laughs> and, and why people do what they do. And my husband just, you know, I can't, it's hard to engage him in those conversation so I have to call Rochelle. Ten words. Yeah, I know. I have, to call, I have to call Rochelle. To that. 